So I'm going to do an end of the week uh, watch list review here, uh, Day Trader Boot Camp's weekly watch list. And we're going to start out with Alcoa. Uh, I was looking to get in Alcoa and to break out of this pattern, and it did give us a good trade. Um, looking for 15 was a first target, and then 16 before they reported. Uh, we've had two downgrades uh, come out on it. One came out late last night. Uh, JP Morgan really hammered it. Um, Alcoa reports on Monday. I'm going to hold the trade. And uh, we'll carry that one over in the next week. Should have a strong day on Monday. Uh, next up here is ALTR. Um, nice little falling channel pattern. Um, we were getting into this swing at 27.70. Looking for a dollar. Um, stop at 24. It's got as high as about 25.50. Um, so it came out about 20 cents short of the target. But you know, anybody that's still in it, still, still long. I still like the chart. A um, little cheapy for the week we had was this little BLC. Uh, liked it above 690, looking for a fast 50 cents. It, it, it hit 653, so it went 63 cents positive. Still a good looking bullish chart. Um, Cenex, we were uh, was holding it already. I thought a big move was coming. We kind of got it. We're looking at it uh, as a new trade on Cenex was to buy it at about 15 and a quarter off this watch list play. Um, went as high as a dollar fifty higher. It was actually a, a really good trader, and it's just starting this consolidation pattern again on top of uh, its recent uh, break of resistance. There, uh, I'm no longer personally long to Cenex, but uh, will be on the radar for next week. A big winner for us over here was uh, CMG. CMG has just been a very easy breakout trade to manage for months now. Um, we were getting into this stock on the trigger at 115 on Monday morning. Uh, first target was 119, um, and it hit that with ease. It, it went and tagged 120 on Monday. It was a beautiful trade. Um, we've been still trading it all week over here at boot camp. Um, nice, strong stock. Uh, Goldman, another huge, huge winner off the watch list is Goldman Sachs. Uh, was screaming coming into this week on the watch list to buy it at 170, 172, and for a first target of 177 to 180. It's hit 181 here. So big, big winner, up 11 points off the watch list. Um, Forrest, um, very bullish on this this particular stock long term. Um, been holding it a long time. I like to get in long on this at 27 or cheaper. Stops at 26. The trade never stopped out. First target's 30, but has 33 written all over it. It did get a dollar move. Um, ran in some resistance at 28. But the trade's still working. It hasn't done anything wrong. The RSI is still really good over 50. MACD's bullish. And the stochastics look pretty good here. And again, I like this as a long term hold. Um, it's 10% short in here. It's in the oil sector. And uh, really big fan of this stock. <clears throat> Liz. Um, we were uh, getting long on Liz at 750. Looking for a first target of 850 to 9. Um, today, it printed 832. Hasn't quite done it yet, but a move from 750 to, to 832 in four days is a big percentage move. Like it a lot, you know. Long and strong there on the Liz looks great. Um, another huge winner for us off the watch list this week was Las Vegas Sands um, playing this recent casino momentum. Um, we were looking at a trigger here of uh, a break of 2150, and uh, first target there was 24, and it, it got hit. It actually tagged 24.66. Today, it's it's just tired. It's having, uh, you know, some people could call this an exhaustion day. I don't believe so. I think it's just tired and coming up for a little bit of air. And then uh, last but not least is STR. Um, we're looking for a move on STR to hit 46. Um, was looking to get long at 44.45 as a trigger. And it triggered. Came up a little short of the 46 target. It came up and hit 45.62. So it's still about a dollar twelve there. It's uh, now forming, you know, what looks to be a flag. The RSI is still good. You know, stochastics can embed up here. It still looks like a decent chart. And um, take you on over to uh, the spider. Got a little bit of time left in this video. And uh, basically, don't call to come back. We're breaking new 52-week highs as we speak. Spy printed 119.43 today. And uh, that's about it. Stop by daytraderbootcamp.com for a free trial.